So why, why treat pirates like consumers? Over the past few months, Michael, Vic, and I have been talking about piracy and the problems that software manufacturers face in selling online. So I'd like to start today's conversation by thinking about the traditional marketing funnel in the context of selling software online. Now, I realize that there are a lot of complex marketing uh, funnels out there, but for today, I just wanted to use a simple one, uh, this view of the funnel where we have traditional awareness, consideration, purchase, and then advocacy as the metaphor. Of course, the purchase phase is obvious. It's, it's ideally where the sales conversion happens. It's also where you have abandonment and where some prospects start to leave. Typically, leakage at this point is, is where the prospect is considering other options, uh, possibly doing more research, thinking about, thinking about or actually buying a competitive product, or they're delaying the purchase. But it's also where uh, piracy occurs and where that, that leakage happens. So setting aside the committed pirate that Vic described earlier, the soft pirate and the pirate victim personas behave a lot like a prospect and have a lot of the same needs as the paying customer. The key difference, of course, is that as they move down the funnel at purchase, there's an escape, which ultimately represents another opportunity for you and, and your, your team. So think about what if, uh, in addition to digital rights management and some of the tools that VI Labs uh, provides, we think about software pirates as very qualified leads and prospects. Think about them as a lot like a trial user or a fan or potentially even a power user. With that mindset, how would your tactics for conversion change?